I've got an ink which is too light for my taste, Jerobon Diablement. I love the color. How can I make this ink more saturated? Is it okay to add different ink with similar color from a different brand like Kaweco Paradise Blue? Uh, lightening up an ink is a little easier than darkening it. Um, so I will say that, you know, if you want to lighten it, you basically add distilled water um, or like a dilution liquid, like Diatromenus has a dilution liquid um, for their uh, document inks and uh, a couple other brands, you know, have them, like uh, Penider has it in there. Um, uh, ink mixing kits as well as uh, Platinum has it in the Mix Free and there's a couple others out there. But, um, you know, lightening it up is, is much more straightforward. Darkening it is a lot tougher um, because you are removing some of the, um, you know, basically wetting agents from it. It's going to change the, it's going to change the color, but it's also going to change some of the properties and there's no, there's no real super easy way to do that. Um, like you mentioned, you know, you could mix a darker ink into it. Um, if you're crossing brands like that, you know, you don't necessarily know what's in there. I mean, some brands are fairly similar to each other. Others are maybe not. Um, so you want to be really careful when you're doing that. Um, obviously, if you come across anybody who has a recipe that they've tested and stuff like that, that's pretty reliable. Um, but, I mean, when you get into ink mixing, you're kind of in Wild West territory a little bit, unless you find somebody who's like really an ink mixing enthusiast. Um, but if you're crossing brands, it's best to mix just a little bit of ink at a time, mix it in like a small sample vial, and then let it sit for several hours, maybe a day or so, uh, and then ink it up in a pen that you maybe don't care about as much. Because uh, really you want to make sure you're not going to have any like weird uh, clumping or foaming or gelling effects that happens, uh, because sometimes you can get some reactions with certain uh, properties that are in the ink. I don't know what is in some of these inks that cause them to do that. Uh, in particular, like Noodler's Base State inks, you do not want to mix those with non-Base State inks unless you want to see some cool reaction, but you don't want to put it in the pen. Um, so that one I know is for sure one example of one. Um, others you can kind of experiment with. I've heard a lot of people have mixed all different kinds of inks uh, with good success. So it's, it's certainly something you can do. Um, I just can't say like for certain, yeah, do this, it's no problem. You just want to be, you want to be intentional about how you do it. Um, so that is, that is definitely one way to do it. Another way it's, uh, you know, something you could experiment with, maybe just on a small volume. Um, so if you think about, like, um, uh, if you add water, uh, you know, or a dilution liquid or something to an ink, uh, that will make it lighter, right, and desaturate it. Um, so what is the opposite of that, right? So if you want to darken up an ink, you can take water out of it. So that's a little less straightforward of a process, not as precise, but essentially you just open it up and leave it out and let the water evaporate. Um, so it's very hard to do that precisely, um, but essentially that's the process if you want to darken up an ink without having to mix it or anything like that. I've never really heard of anybody doing it uh, repeatably uh, and, and with ease, uh, but certainly you could experiment with it if you hate the color and you just want it to be different and, you know, throw a couple mill milliliters in a sample vial and leave it out for a bit. Maybe as you're like just kind of working at home or something like that and you can check on it on a pretty regular basis. If you have it in something like a sample vial that has like notches on it as to how much is evaporated, you know, maybe just make a small line on it and, and try and measure out like about where 10% would be or 15 or 20% or whatever. And then kind of see the notches as it goes down. And then you can see, okay, I've had some water evaporate out of there and I can, uh, I can test out the ink now and you can try it in, in a couple different ways. So, um, that is a something I'm recommending to you. I've never really heard of anybody actually doing that. But theoretically, uh, you could do that, and that would darken up your ink. So that is one way that I have to do it. Um, you know, you can't just, like, mix, like, a black ink or something and darken it up a little bit. That's going to severely change the color. If you do mix an ink, you're going to need to do something that's kind of in the similar color family so it won't shift the dyes too much. Uh, but there you go. So.